Denver, Colorado is not in the top 25 cities for young professionals to live in, but two other Colorado cities made the top five. How did this happen? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan Herrer, Denver area homes and neighborhoods expert. I'm also a local realtor, so if you have any questions about the local market, please reach out. My contact information is in the description below. Now, US News just released its list of the 25 best places for young professionals to live. And I want you to tell me if you agree with the list. Let's take a look at the list itself, then we will dive into the top five and talk about why Denver did not make the list at all. First, how did US News even create this list? Well, they focused exclusively on Gen Z, as many of these young people are about to leave college or have already entered the workforce. An attractive job market was the most heavily weighted factor in the rankings, accounting for 55% of the overall score. Desirability, that's exciting experiences, they described it as whether or not your family or friends would want to come visit you in your new city, that made up 30% of the score, and then affordability made up just 15% of the overall score. So off the bat, I personally don't love this ranking system. I don't know about you, but as a 22-year-old out of school, I wasn't exactly swimming in cash. In fact, I was very lucky to have got a job out of school in a very inexpensive market, Tucson, Arizona, where my rent was under $1,000 and the cost of living overall was low. My point is, I feel like affordability should be taking up a much bigger chunk of this ranking system, but it is what it is. Now, I haven't been to many of these cities in the top 25, but it's quite an interesting mix from Madison, Wisconsin at 23 to Honolulu at 14 and Huntsville, Alabama at number five. There are a wide variety of ways for cities to make this list. Madison, for example, is one of the strongest job markets on the list, Honolulu is one of the most expensive, but most desirable, certainly. Huntsville is extremely affordable. Both coasts get lots of love on this list. Six Florida cities made this list. Six. Three California cities made it. Obviously, these are two of the largest states in the nation, but still notable appearances from these two states. As a realtor, I found median home prices to be most interesting on this list, with approximately half of the cities holding a median home price of under half a million dollars. But even for a Gen Z ranking, two cities had median home prices over a million. In fact, those two cities with median home prices over a million bucks they were the top two places for Gen Z to move to according to this ranking. This part to me is difficult to understand. I understand it's not factoring desire to purchase a home in the ranking, but as one of the most important wealth building tools in America, you'd think home prices would play more of a role. But the number two place for young professionals to live is San Francisco, one of the most expensive places to live in the world, frankly. Incredible city. I, I get that there are challenges there right now, but iconic in so many ways San Francisco is. Phenomenal attractions, food, culture, I get the draw, but somehow sky high rents and home prices did not keep it from soaring near the top of the list. And the number one top place for Gen Zers to live is not far away from San Francisco, that's San Jose, California, where the median home price is even more expensive, according to this report. Now, US News, which created this ranking, states the average salary in San Jose is $100,000, which is nowhere near enough to purchase a median priced home of one and a half million dollars there. But the job market is booming, according to US News, with plenty of room for advancement in the tech and startup world. And here's another reason I'm a bit skeptical of this article. Tech jobs are not exactly plentiful right now. In fact, there have been some significant significant cutbacks in the last year or so in that sector. So if anyone has any insight into what this report is referring to, let me know in the comments. So how about Colorado? It's no surprise to see the gorgeous Centennial State hit the top 25, not once, but twice. But it's capital city, Denver, Colorado, nowhere to be seen. I have some thoughts on that in just a second, but first let's look at the two cities that did make the top five. Coming in at number four, Colorado Springs. It's certainly a more affordable option compared to other major Colorado cities. There's no shortage of incredible outdoor activities and the median home price is about 550,000. But it's important to note that the cost of living there continues to rise. Nice to see them make this list though. At number three, a city that so often makes these types of lists, beautiful Boulder, Colorado. Desirable, absolutely undeniable. You've got incredible views, a great community, wonderful downtown area, gorgeous homes, bars, shops, restaurants, and of course, some of the best outdoor access in Colorado. 
That all comes with a price though, with the median home price of nearly $800,000. Salaries are a bit higher on average in Boulder, but remember affordability only makes up 15% of this ranking. So did Denver get snubbed? The job market in Denver is strong despite strange economic times. However, affordability has become an increasing issue with cost of living outpacing salary increases. Median home prices have climbed uh, to about $600,000 across the entire metro area, but affordability is much better than Boulder and just 40 minutes away with similar similar access to the same ski mountains and hiking trails. The Denver area is home to aerospace, healthcare, finance, telecommunication jobs, and offers tons of great entertainment, venues, bars, restaurants. We've got Red Rocks and national championship sports teams. Yes, I am extremely biased, but how did Madison, Sarasota, and Huntsville make this list and not Denver? I'm sure I'm missing something and I'm sure you all have some thoughts. So please leave them down in the comments below, subscribe to my channel, share this with a friend, and I'll see you on the next video.